3.14159265358979323846264338 These are the first 30 digits of pi. Do you know how many takes it took me to actually memorize them? Well, zero. And that's because I can actually see them written in front of me on these smart glasses from Enmo. Let's find out more. These are the Inmo Go Smart Glasses. They look like normal glasses, except, and as you can see, they have a screen over here that displays text and allows you to do things that are pretty cool. Now, these are not like AR glasses that have micro OLED displays that project images, so you cannot watch videos and play games on these. Instead, what you can do is two main things. First one is use them as a teleprompter as I just showed you, by importing a text document or copy pasting a text paragraph, you can see that text in front of you on the screen and read it like you would off of a teleprompter. The second thing these can do is translation. They're able to translate from 11 different languages and through the Inmo app, you actually have two different kinds of translation. You've got dialogue translation, which is like a conversation mode, whereby if you're talking with someone who speaks a different language, you have the glasses on, he speaks in French, you read in front of you the translated text in English, and then when you speak in English, he will read on the phone, on the app, the translated text of French, and I'll try to show you that in action in just a bit. And then the second option is voice translation, which is quite interesting. You use that if you're listening to one-way audio in a different language, which you want translated to English. Think if you're attending a lecture or a talk and someone is speaking a different language, or even if you're watching TV in a foreign language, can wear those glasses. There are microphones around the glasses that will pick up that sound and it will automatically translate the spoken language to text in front of you and you can read it in English, which is pretty cool. And again, I'll try to show you that in just a second. In addition to translation or the teleprompter, there's a few other things these glasses can do. They have an integration with ChatGPT, so you can talk to ChatGPT as your personal assistant by simply tapping for here and you can ask it questions and you're gonna read the response on these glasses right in front of you. Give me a one sentence horror story. As I tap for ChatGPT to respond, it's gonna give me that. As you glance at the mirror, your reflection smiles back, but you have moved a muscle. That would be quite eerie. Quick disclaimer here, it doesn't have memory, so if you ask a question and then a follow-up question, it's not gonna remember what you just asked. So it's more of a one-off thing. If you have a particular question you wanna ask, you can do that and read the response on the screen in front of you. The glasses are also able to display notifications that you get on your phone, so you can read them in front of you. And because it has microphones and speakers, once it's connected via Bluetooth to your phone, you can actually take a phone call on these glasses, which actually is pretty cool. I took a few phone calls and, you know, I'm walking around the house. I've got no earbuds or earphones in my ears. I'm not holding the phone and I'm just hearing the other person through the speakers on the temple over here and talking through the microphone. So right now I'm walking and talking on the phone. What you're hearing is my voice coming in through the microphones on these glasses to simulate a phone call. So this is what you would sound like if you were taking a phone call with these glasses. You can also, in theory, use them to listen to music. However, of course, there will be some sound bleed. So if you have the volume at a high level, people around you will obviously hear what you're hearing. Right now, I'm actually listening to music on these glasses. You probably can't hear it. Let me increase the volume and get closer. So if you are someone who does not like to wear headphones or does not like earbuds shoved in their ears, this could be perfect for listening to music or even a podcast, as they are very similar to wearing open earbuds, which means you have complete full awareness of all your surroundings and you have nothing inside your ears, actually. The way you control these, there are two buttons on either temple. There's a button over here, and that's the on-off button or the wake-up button. And then there's a function button over here on the right temple. But this entire temple is touch sensitive, so it's a touch surface. So when you're actually wearing these, you can interact with the glasses by tapping, touching, and swiping on the temple. So when you're talking to ChatGPT, for example, you tap once to start talking, you tap again to stop talking, and it's gonna give you an answer. If you're using the teleprompter, you can actually swipe pages like this, so swipe backward and forward. If you're listening to music, you can double tap for the next song, triple tap for the previous song, long press for pause and play. So now let me show you the app capabilities. When you open the app, you have the option to 
either do translate, teleprompter, music, or Inmo. Let me start with the teleprompter, and this is where you can actually create a new script. You can either type your own script, copy paste the script, or import the script from a text file. And once you have a script, this is a sample script, for example, you can click on start teleprompter. And this is where you start seeing the text over here. Now in terms of controlling the text, there's a bunch of ways you can actually control pages. I wish it had the capability to actually scroll automatically as you are speaking as some teleprompters do. I actually spoke to Inmo and I'm really recommending that feature since the glasses already have microphones and AI capabilities. They should be able to follow you as you speak and then scroll automatically. And they did tell me they will be working on more natural ways for the teleprompter to work. But as of this moment, you can control these either through the app by actually scrolling up and down, which is pretty well implemented because you don't really need to look at your phone anywhere you scroll on the entire page, it's just going to jump by an entire paragraph, as you can see, and that text is going to be displayed on your screen. Or you can also swipe pages by going left and right on the touch surface, if you want to. And I think the best option, Inmo actually informed me that they do have a ring which you can wear, and you can control the pages or scroll through the pages by swiping on the ring. I, I have not had the chance to test that out, but I would imagine uh, that this probably would be the best way to control the pages. And then let me show you the translation function. So if you go to translate, this is where you have one of two options, either voice translate or dialogue translation. So in the case of you talking with someone else in a different language, you can actually do the dialogue one. Well, actually you can already see uh, it's already starting to translate from English to French. Now, in this particular case, I selected as my language being French. So if I wanted to start translation, I can just press and hold the button and speak into the app, into the phone, and it's going to translate it. So let's give that a try. On teste actuellement la fonction de traduction de ces lunettes. Je parle en français. Est-ce que tu comprends ce que je dis? The translation function of these glasses is currently being tested. I speak in French. Do you understand what I'm saying? which is a literal translation of what I just said in French. Now, what you cannot see, and I'll try to show you, as I am speaking in English right now, the glasses are translating everything I am saying in English into French. So actually, I can read everything that I just said in French as I am saying it. And the other option is the voice translation. And this one works if you're attending a lecture or any speech in a foreign language. The way it works is whatever the microphones are picking up, they're actually translating right now in my vision. And if I want to pause it, I can just tap over here on the temple. It's going to pause the translation. And when I, whenever I want to resume it, I can click over here or tap again over here, and it's going to resume the translation. Voici un exemple de fonctionnement de la traduction directe. Si quelqu'un parle dans une autre langue, vous obtenez une traduction directe de ce qu'il dit dans la langue de votre choix. Dans ce cas, so that's it for me for this showcase of the features of the InmoCo. They're going to be launching in a few days. I will put links in the description to the product page. So make sure to check them out if you're interested in the InmoGo and to check the price at the moment you're watching this review. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.